Okay, talk about a bad equation for commuters. The Buck O'Neill Bridge and the Lewis and Clark Viaduct closed at the same time. 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed found out why the two projects could coincide. Construction on the Lewis and Clark Viaduct was supposed to start five years ago, but funding issues tied that project up. And now money could also be the reason why the Buck O'Neill Bridge is closed at the exact same time. It's not ideal, absolutely. Not ideal is probably an understatement for what some drivers think of the Buck O'Neill Bridge and Lewis and Clark Viaduct being closed at the same time. Seems like bad planning. I don't want to like cast too much harsh judgment on them. Lewis and Clark carries the westbound lanes of I-70 over the river, a major thoroughfare in and out of downtown. The bridge could be closed uh, starting in the spring of, of next year for up to two construction seasons or two years. Ron Acklepool is the transportation director for the Mid-America Regional Council. While Mark is working with KDOT and MoDOT to try to avoid a shutdown, the two could have a year of overlapping closures. I think what we're seeing right now is the impact of, of really the funding situations in both Kansas and Missouri. A money problem that put this KDOT project five years behind and created infrastructure issues across the border. The state of Missouri right now has 3,500 structurally deficient bridges, all of which need to be addressed across the state of Missouri. Instead of repairing this structurally deficient bridge, Mark is advocating for a new one to be built. The agency is coordinating a study which will decide in the next few months whether or not this commuter's nightmare can be avoided. Reporting in Kansas City, Cat Reed, 41 Action News. The Mid-America Regional Council will hold public meetings next month to get input for what's being called the Beyond the Loop study.